Well, tomorrow will mark 13 weeks since the Dolly container ship hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, causing it to collapse right into the Patapsco River. Today, as the Dolly left Baltimore, headed for Norfolk for report repairs, we learn more about what may have caused this tragedy. Our Adam Longo is walking us through the details. A lot of moving parts and pieces to the Key Bridge collapse story. First to the moving part, the Dolly, the container ship that brought down the bridge on March 26. It has left the port of Baltimore. Four tugboats assisting this massive vessel as it moved out towards the Chesapeake Bay for the first time in three months. Now, just before noon, traffic was brought to a complete stop on both sides of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge as the ship was, as you see, escorted underneath it by the Coast Guard. The Dolly now headed to the Port of Virginia in Norfolk. That's where crews are going to work to repair the front end damage from the collapse. The Coast Guard said the ship was sailing under its own power with a full crew of 22 and six salvage experts. All right, now to the parts and pieces. The night of the accident, we've seen this video here, right? Showing the Dolly losing power, not once, but twice before slamming into a key bridge support pylon and bringing the bridge down. So the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, they just published an investigative update to its preliminary report and investigators have honed in on this. This is a piece of electrical equipment called a terminal block, and this is what may have caused that power failure before the ship crashed into the bridge. Now, terminal blocks connect wires together. They come in all different shapes and sizes. But this picture came straight from the NTSB. This is identical to the terminal block that investigators removed from the dolly. Now, it looks big up here because I've got it on our big fancy TV monitor, but this is the actual size of that terminal block. Two and a half inches by one inch. Now, I found that actual terminal block on a distributor's website, and it costs $2.17. So while investigators are examining that and the wiring that was connected to the block, it is possible that the failure of a $2 part is what caused the Keybridge catastrophe. Adam Longo, WUSA 9.